Bwana tulizo Bwana tunataka jambo tusika cha rama ma sanctions ya safa inafu say no hapo ni ma sanctions ape ipite Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Salingoni and I'm the spokesperson for Broad Alliance Against Sanctions. We are here came at the American Embassy and today we are on day number 53 and we are saying enough is enough. America should remove evil Zidera. America should remove the sanctions that they imposed on Zimbabwe illegally. Ordinary citizens are suffering from the so-called targeted sanctions. Even those on the sanctions list, they were put there during their term of office, meaning that they were serving the interests of ordinary citizens. And we are saying no one, no single Zimbabwean should be on the sanctions list. Above all, we are also saying on the issues that they are stating and as their reasons for imposing sanctions on Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, the land issue, they can't keep on talking of the land issue today. We are saying we are 39 years after we gained our independence from the secular regime and they still continue saying the land issue wasn't ended properly. We are saying to the Americans, we as ordinary citizens are saying the land rightfully, rightfully belongs to us and they should introduce it as leverage against us so that they impose sanctions on us. And on issues to do with democracy and uh, rule of law, there is no democracy in any country. Actually, every country is complaining about democracy issues, but other countries are not under sanctions. When we talk of rule of law, there is no rule of law in America. There is violence in America. There is a lot of issues that they are talking of in Zimbabwe, which are also happening in America, but they are not under the sanctions. List. So we are saying enough is enough, they should remove those sanctions and they should remove them unconditionally. And then there is also the issue of um, saying uh, the issue, uh, sanctions are targeted. We are saying as ordinary citizens we are targeted because we are not on the sanctions list, but we are the ones who are not employed, we are the ones who are not uh, conducting business properly because no one wants to come and invest in a country which is under sanctions. Above all, we cannot receive money through PayPal in Zimbabwe, even if you are not on the sanctions list, because they are saying uh, our country is under sanctions. So we are saying as ordinary citizens, we have suffered enough, and the Americans should remove the sanctions unconditionally. Thank you.